DJI Mini 2 now has a new firmware update version 1.3.0. So let's go and test out some of the improved flight stability features and the optimized gimbal FPV mode. Let's go. So I did a video earlier explaining some of these new features, but I didn't want to do a full review on this at the time because I didn't just want to push that video out without actually testing it fully for you guys. So I've now had a chance to actually test this out. So I'm going to be talking today about this improved stability, the compass calibration prompts, and also the new FPV mode. So stick around if you are interested. Of note, when you are updating any firmware on DJI Mini 2, just check all your main safety values. Most of the time, just like mine, they have been reset and it tends to do this a lot on firmware updates so make sure especially your return to home altitude it's not either too low or too high and then the same regards to your altitude and distance so whatever your normal values are just go through before actually setting off make sure your safety features and your actually safety settings are all as you want don't be up in the air and then think oh no i've not changed that why is it doing this so we're just going to go on to this now and get the drone in the air but just double check your settings have a good look through before you actually set off but as regards to anything no there's nothing new in them settings so let's get this thing in the air I am hopeful this may fix that gimbal horizon issue and do you know what this is what I want you to comment and let me know that doesn't look as bad it's certainly nowhere near as bad as it has been it's not perfect let me just get my little red beam out it's certainly still slanted a little bit but nowhere near as much and I will test this out in a bit more detail but it's still slightly off but it's definitely not as bad so i know loads of you have fed back to me saying that you've had gimbal horizon issues has this firmware update fixed it for you it certainly has improved it so it would be interesting to know if it's infected it or made it worse or better for you guys i'm just going to change that horizon level a little bit because it's going to irritate me if i don't <laughs> but let me know it'd be really interesting to find out but it's certainly not as bad um, but let's go right so we're going to test out so what are the put in the release notes is this is affects the stability and the, basically the flight performance so we should get a really nice and stable flight we shouldn't have any problems crashing it so i'm going to be testing some of those features and i want to just do a full test just like normal on this before recommending this to you and if it's crap i'll tell you it's crap and don't actually go in and update it if you haven't already but from looking at it from the performance so far everything's spot on and i want to test this out i always test this out to make sure that we can still change the orientation of the drone when it's coming back on return to home it was a feature that was added a few months ago now we've still got it as you can see now as it's returning home to me i can turn that actual drone to the side and have full control of it the up and down motion left and right all works gimbal works as planned sports mode so i want to make sure as well the very first firmware updates for this we used to get absolutely tons of wind warning messages so i'm going to put this up really high and actually see how it does it's actually pretty windy typical horrible you know june weather for england that's hopefully we can get some sun but it's pretty bad weather today with some winds but I'm just under 120 meters and we've got no wind warning messages. So that's brilliant. All right, I'm flying through these, so bear with me. So I'm just going to test out some of these zooms now. 4K, I want to make sure this is all working. And you know what, DJI have been known to move, remove some things. So I want to make sure everything is still as it was before as well. 2.7K, we should have three times zoom on this and that's really nice and smooth. So no problems there. If there was any stuttering or lag or anything like that, then it wouldn't be good. But as regards to a firmware update this is actually new features that we're expected to see not really app performance boosts but 1080p also we're going to get four times zoom in 1080p and that looks great just hashtag dji give us 4k 60 on the next firmware update that'd be really great come on dji you can do it uh, let's just test cine mode as well so just do a quick cinematic pan up here making sure that there's no problems here and it's nice and stable there should be nothing wrong with that gimbal it should be nice and smooth just as it was on the old firmware but you know it, things do happen but from this cine mode normal mode everything is working spot on and we're going to test sports mode in a minute all right 
FPV mode. So this now in the release notes has an optimized gimbal FPV mode to improve the flying experience. Now before I just found it a bit meh, you know, it wasn't brilliant. It was very clunky and stuff, but from flying this now, this is nowhere near, you know, air to s FPV standard, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot more fluid and mimics more that FPV style. And that was in normal mode. When you put it into sports mode, obviously everything's really much faster and everything and twitchier, but the illusion, what it gives off, it's definitely improvement. I can see an improvement definitely from the old firmware with this FPV mode, especially when I come up in the minute to where the houses are. If you play around with this, you can actually get pretty good results. So it's 100% an improvement. As you can see now, as I'm just turning, the actual gimbal follows the movement of the drone as well. So it's it's really good. That gives an impression that you are flying some FPV drone, you know. I know all the FPV guys, calm down. I'm, I'm not saying it's an FPV drone, but it gives that good impression. And it's, it's fun, you know, before... Did you even use it? I didn't, to be honest. But I think I'll use this a lot now, and I'm going to test this out more. I just want to do a quick overview showing you. But it's a lot of fun now. What I would recommend is, if you're in a big open space, certainly, use it in sports mode. You do still get the error messages coming up when you're in sports mode if you are doing fast turns and that gimbal will drop. It's not sorted that out. But it's a lot of fun. Just look at the banking now and how it rotates. So it's definitely improved. So this again is a fantastic feature. Cine mode, you can, you know, in Cine smooth mode, you can use it in FPV mode, but please don't. You're not going to get very good results. But in sports mode or normal mode, this FPV style of flying now is brilliant. And it looks better if you're closer to things, you know. So try and get close to the ground, close to objects. And then this shot here. I'm actually making use of the gimbal. So as I'm turning, I'm actually turning the gimbal down and up as well. So it looked like I was proper banking down, but obviously I wasn't. But yeah, a lot of fun. FPV mode, brilliant. So I've tested the drone there in different modes, different flying styles, and everything was really nice and smooth. And I didn't feel much difference in relation to the actual flying experience. The battery life, 100%, I found it to be brilliant. I was managing to test it in loads of different flying scenarios, especially in FPV in sports mode, and that battery stayed nice and strong. So although they've not put it in the release notes, that battery for me seems to be a definite advantage. And the other big update relating to this is the ability now to use the DJI Smart Controller. A lot of people have asked me in the first video I've done on this, should you go out and buy one now? Now, I'm a bit on the fence with this. This is old. You know, it's been out quite a while now. And when this came out, this was fantastic. It was mind blowing of how great that screen was. And you know what? It is a great screen. Would I go out and buy it though for £580? I do have one. I just, I'll be honest with you, I've lost it. I don't know where it is. I need to go and find it. But would you, as a new customer, go out and buy one? I personally wouldn't. No. I think it's fairly old now. And although it's fantastic, you can get similar results from the latest smartphones. We've not all got Nokia 3210s anymore. We've got really bright screens and good displays. So the a controller from the Mini 2, it's all built in now. So you haven't got the antennas. So it'd be great. I think they will bring out a smart controller too pretty soon. But at the moment, 570, 580 pound or dollars, pretty steep for that controller for just a bit of a better screen. So personally, I probably wouldn't. And then the final point before I let you go is the reduced quantity of compass calibrations. This uh, recently, I've been getting so many, no matter where I was taken off from, I was getting compass calibration messages. And I know it's got to be done, but what a pain in the ass, isn't it, to do it all the time. And I've tested this in a few different locations this afternoon, and I've had no compass calibration messages in the areas where I would normally get them as well. So yes, that's also been fixed. So thank you so go and download that you've got the darren mccarty productions seal of approval there hope you'll enjoyed that see you very soon take care guys bye bye